Hello and welcome to Put the Rage Q. And today we've got a different E36 in. This is a good friend of mine, he's just brought it and he wants me to polish it, clean up the interior, basically it looking all shiny and bliss. Now it is a nice E36 380 IS automatic. You've got leather interior, it's early clips are red, which is like um, a slight difference to the later clips are red. It has been painted. Now, I don't know when this was painted. I've looked at the MLT history. It hasn't been doing much in the last two or three years. So I don't know when this was painted. So that means when we polish it, we have to be careful because we don't know how good the paint is. We don't know how thick, thick or thin the lacquer is. And it's a big unknown. Now, if it was all original paint, we am quite certain it's going to be quite hard, quite thick. But with this, we don't know. So we have to be extra careful polishing it or do anything to it after the wash because we just don't know how long it's been painted how much is clear coats on there or lacquer so we will tread carefully on this one I assume there's no waxes, seals or anything on the car I feel around it is just really grimy so the whole issue is I'm going to wash the car polish it, wax it I'm going to do the interior, heal the interior I'm going to clean all the door shuts out the bonnet shut and the boot shut and when we get ready so it's a nice daily drivable car in a couple of days time now i'm not too sure if it's going to be a longer video or going to be three parts the outside the inside and a wrap up i'm not sure but follow along subscribe and we'll um, see it pans out now i'll try to brutalize the what we're up against here we're going to have to snow farm it before we do anything to the car before we even content wash it because you can see there's grime all there it has been garaged i've been told like i said this is a big unknown to me it's not a Butler HQ car, it's a good friend and a neighbour's car. It's the same fellow who had the green E36 IS that we done the back repair to. He was sick of um, a British racing green BMW, so he decided to get this clips our red car. So it's a big unknown, it's a big unknown to him. The fellow who brought it off said it had been painted, he was straight up and all that. But we don't know when it was painted or how good it was painted. We don't know the prep on the car, so that's why we have to be careful. But I will show you, it is properly dirty. I don't even see if it's bird poo etching across the car. The person when he picked it up it required for Gary. So I think because it hasn't been washed it's been out so I put rage last night we'd have some rain. It's made it look a lot dirtier than it is but there's still a lot of dirt to be removed and it needs to be snow found before we even think about contacting the car. Here's another handle of the grime under there. Now the snow found we've used a bit of this a bit of this and we'll put it on the car neat you can water it down with water if you want to but because the car's dirty and grimy we'll just leave bolting and um, put it on neat Is a good time to point out some of the many now, but somehow just because a car beats, it does not mean it's protected. This was a trespass with a um, compound, and this is nothing that's been compounded, and that's been nothing there. There's no protection on that whatsoever, it's just clean. There's no protection on that. And that I bead in, and that is beading. So a, a car can bead and it's got no protection whatsoever, it's been compounded back 
and you'll still get the same water reaction as a car that's been waxed or sealed. So remember that. Now it's time for contact washing with Snow Farm the car gives a good rinse off. And now we're going to be using Turtle Wax Orange. I like to use on the first one. Normally, weekend washes, every weekend I'll use hybrid solution to wash and wax. But on this occasion, I'll use orange because I think it's a waste of time and money using hybrid solutions, wash and wax, and it leaves a nice protected layer after it. Well, it's why it's only the protected layer now because we're going to need to polish it anyway. So, big red orange, it's cheap, it's about £12 for five litres, it does the job. It's an odd thing to use. And then we can have a look at and start seeing now exactly what we're going to play with on the paintwork side of things. You never really know what a car is till you, you wash it. I've always stood by that, and that's always said that to me before I was even, you know, cars or anything like that. The only time you really know what a car is is when you wash it, really. So you find out all little bits of stuff. So, like I said before, we do know this car has been painted, so we have to be extra careful when polishing it. We did do a test patch on the back wing spoiler. It seems to be okay. I'm not going to go for anything major. I'm just probably going to do a polishing pad and turtle wax, um, ceramic polish and wax and see what we can do. There is no deep scratches, only on the back panel driver side. The rest of it is just a little bit dull. It's been sitting for a long time in the garage so and these are the marks I was telling you about now I don't know if, I'll, if I can do any improvement just by polishing it I'm not sure until we get a polish rate to go well now like I said we tried to get this to be like um, a good daily driver but when you're going around you're proud to drive it shines up well looks nice take it to the show and it'll look nice take it to a pub um, park outside and be proud of. So that's what we're going for this. But that is rather annoying. Like I said, I'm going to make a few pass on that, see if we can do anything with it. If not, I'll speak to the owner and see what he wants to do. Maybe we could get some touch up on wet sand, but I just don't really know. I'll talk to the owner and see what he says. It has got all its um, door trims with the emblems on as well, which need to be fitted. It's also got a graze here. Now, Maybe that could polish up but and get the white bits off. But that's back to plastic. But look says she's an old girl. She had brand new. But overall she's a nice car. Anybody knows where you can get some base plates, just for base plates for this, drop us a link down below. Like always we're doing nothing fancy in what we do. Anybody can do what we sort of do. So I'm just gonna go through what we're gonna be using today. The man is a extreme dual action polisher we've got a black waffle pad this is a polishing pad and we've got a turtle at hybrid solutions orange pad like many always being an orange pad it does have more cut than the standard black pad and we've got the hybrid solutions straight polish and wax i've used this on a seven series watch that video with good results so I'm sure it'll bring up the E36 IS quite well and that was today who I'm thinking all oh, ways for normal dirty diesel we've been waiting for some parts still to come on the interior that's why the last video was supposed to have been the video after that but we haven't done the interior video yet because we've waited on parts so that's why we put the diesel filter because that was supposed to be one after that but you apply this when it's out it will all make sense so this will be the um, fried dose of the 36 content for you. Now, there's a lot of new people coming in now with the 36 you're watching, so I do enjoy doing this. There will be some E34 content coming as well. 
I'm going to be fitting all boots back together in my coming weeks as well. We've got all the parts now, which we're going to be finding the time to do that. Like I said, there's nothing to be worried about using a dual action polisher. All you've got to realise is, and think about it is, that is your hand rubbing polish or compound into the, the panel, but a hundred times faster. So you have to slow everything down. It's no different to your hand, it's your hand supercharged. So that's how I thought about it when I started polishing. It's never really put me wrong. As we noticed, um, I totally forgot the this is starting to play up already about, about four years now and as you can see it's on now. But if you turn that it sort of works so I'll be needing to invest in a new one shortly I should have thought. But it's up I'm all five o'clock and Ah, that looks so bad. Anyway, come on. That, that looks bad, that though. Give it one more hit. Because, like I said, we haven't been careful here. We don't know the paint history of the car. All we know is it's been painted. We don't know if it's been doing the garage or the body shop. It's unknown. I just don't know whether you can see that. Oh, that comes, that's coming up peaches or a cherry. <laughs> that's really is. It looks lovely. I think um, it'll be choppy. You got to realise again. This is no wax. There's no glaze. This is this is paint. This is clear coming up. So you imagine when it's got some wax on. It really will look like a cherry. Been stopping and starting, stopping and starting. So that's back pan out of old block back to get to go. Put it on the wall and it started to work. It's free itself off the wall and it's broke. That side is polished now. It's shiny. We'll put some guys and some wax. We're going to call that done on this side. See, like I said, I haven't got a paint death gauge, so I'm doing it all by look and by feel, which is really dangerous. I'm using a polish, I'm not using a compound, so that cuts your wrist back. A polish shouldn't really cut through with 
polishing pad. I'm not using a cutting pad. So, yeah, it's a bit. But, so it's still shiny. The top's done. I'm going to do the bottom. I'm going to do the bottom. I'm going to do the rest of the car and I'll get back to you. I'm going to try and make this work. This side has just been done. Now what I'm going to do is black wax the whole car, give it some protection. I'm happy with how it's been done and how it looks now. It's all been polished. I'm going to wax it now. I'm really happy. <laughs> polished and waxed now it's not 100 percent because i won't think that's fair on my owner he just likes to pay that he just likes to paint and in all fairness he can buffer when he wants to he just likes me to do his car for some reason so it is nice it is now clean it is fresh now, i would like to say i'll take this opportunity to, to, to say you should be joining us on our next episode where we've got to clean this 1.8 m is it m44 M45 and 44 engine. That's going to be cleaned up a bit. Trims have got to be put back on. And, oh, and that leaf's got to be sorted. Along with this interior, all the blacks need cleaning, it needs hoovering. The seats. Okay, but it does need to freshen up here. So, if that might interest you, stick around for part one and two, two and three, one and two, two and three. Stick around for the next part. Hit that like button. Comment down below if I've done something wrong or you like the car. Get involved in the comment section below. I do like hearing from everybody. I do like having a bit of dialogue in the comment section. It's a nice thing. And hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on my next episode of some else's clips I read. E36 318 IS. But until next time, bye bye.